Welcome to Asana Solutions. My name is Marquis. I'm your host, and you've landed on the number one channel on YouTube for all things related to project management, process improvement, and of course, Asana. And today's a really special day. It is new update day. Asana has released another update. This is like a milestone week for them. They've released two updates this week that they've been talking about. They just keep adding new features to the platform. At the start of the week, they added the new homepage feature. If you haven't taken a look at the new homepage, go have a look. I'll, I'll link the video shortly here for you. But today I want to talk about their new workflow builder. And I'm super excited about this because they've been talking about it for a long time. They wanted to create a tool that could help people to increase the efficiency and speed that they create projects and take some of the guesswork out of how you know different rules and sections and customizations work inside of Asana. And so today I'm going to blind react to it. Um, I'm actually liking this new approach. I've never seen the workflow tool before. I've heard of it. I'm going to dive into the workflow builder and build something out step by step so you can see how it works, what the new features look like, and maybe come up with some ideas of how you can take this new workflow builder, implement it in your organization to speed up your processes and your workflow. We'll see you inside. All right, so as promised, I'm going to blind react to this new workflow feature. I've never seen this before. No idea what it looks like, but I'm going to walk you through it. We're going to build it step by step. I think I'm liking this new format. I'm going to do some more blind reactions. So Asana, please keep bringing us good content. Um, I love starting from scratch. So let's just call this workflow builder demo. Um, Yep, we can make it public, start adding our tasks. Great. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so, all right, so we got, oh, cool. They just added it in line. Start building your workflows in two minutes. Automate your team's process uh, or process and keep work flowing. I've been told by some of our American friends that uh, they have me pegged as a Canadian right away because of how I say process, I guess. Uh, to the south, they say process, potato, potato. Anyway, um, how will tasks be added to this project? Manually. Any, anyone with access to this project can add tasks manually. Yep, okay, cool. Oh, I see what this is. Okay. Um, okay, we'll see what form submissions. Yep, okay. That's one way we can add it. Intake source. Very cool. Okay. Um, task template. Let's see what happens. Another intake source. Got it. Okay. Oh, okay. I see what's happening. So add triggers to move to this section. So this is like, okay, this is like, um, like project template building. 101 you're like creating something from scratch this is cool so i guess you're creating well let's see um update on my title section so let's call this i don't know to do um when task me to this section what should happen very cool okay so we're adding rules and task templates here okay so we can assign task ah okay let's uh Sorry, Chris, I'm gonna pick on you. Okay, more actions. Run app, create new issue, send channel message. Run, assign nudge, approve proof, skip current step. What is all of this? Add tag to task. Okay, so what tool is this? Very cool, oh, Phil. You should be rejoicing right now. This is incredible. Okay, so you can connect to Flowsana. If you don't know what Flowsana is, go to flowsana.com and check it out. Um, Phil Seaman is an incredible developer who's built a great tool to integrate Asana and various other tools. Okay, so I am liking this. Okay, so we got the native integrations we know about, assign jot form, nudge reviewers. What tool is this? Page proof, never heard of it. Um, what else do we got here? Um, just run through this quickly. Okay, so we got Flow Sauna, modify task name, set custom field, remove 
This is so cool. Um, set task and, and approval. Send email notification. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is incredible. Um, create project from template. Add subtasks. Okay, so just some more on Flow Sauna. Honestly, go check it out. If you've ever thought to yourself, man, I wish I could do more of the subtasks. When I update my project overview timeline, that nothing happens to the subtasks. You know, I want to send notifications from there. I want to see them in workload. I want to add, you know, lead and lag time. Go check out Flow Sauna because all this stuff right here is going to change your world if you're not already using it. Okay. And then you can go through Slack. Okay. So we've assigned a task. Sorry, I'm excited. When I'm excited, I talk really quickly. Um, you can add collaborators, of course. Yep. I'm going to add. Sorry, I'll just keep going through this. Um, let's go more actions. What else can we do? Add to another project. Cool. So we can now multi home. Uh, let's put something there. Now we can multi home stuff right from here. This is really cool. So instead of doing it all manually on this side here, I'm assuming you can add different custom fields, but let's see. Add a comment. Yep. Okay. So this is all the, the rules functionality. And then if we want to do a custom one, we can build a rule right from here. Got it. What's this? Add rule, rename section. Cool. All right. What's next? Add another section in progress. Ah, okay. So anything else here hiding? Nope. So what do we want to do when it comes here? We want to run app application. Maybe we want to send Slack message. Where do we want to send it? Come on Slack. There we go. Let's search for a channel. What's an open channel that I know about? Uh, find general. Ooh. Okay, operations. This is the test. Workflows are cool. All right, let's create that rule. And create, cool. All right, so we got one there. We can do more actions. And then again, we can add more rules. Okay, so we're building like custom workflows. We're doing all of our rules. And obviously with this, you're not going through several menus, renaming things. Okay, so in progress, and let's do the last one. That's done. And when it gets here, we want to complete the task. Let's see what it's going to let us do here. What's going on? My internet is like very slow today. Oh, it was right there. Okay, cool. So task with a certain section, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. So now we got it. Um, we can add another section here if we wanted to and keep going and building our custom rules. I'm curious though, I thought you would be able to do, um, like add custom fields as well. I guess we can't do that here. So add trigger to this section, task assigned. Very cool. Okay. So you can create other triggers. So if it gets here and the task is overdue. Um, we want to maybe not mark this, move it to the done section. We want to change the due date to four days. I don't know. We can do something like that. And then what happens? Cool. All right. And then task is no longer blocked, custom trigger. Okay, so we can go build some more rules there. Okay, so I thought we would see like custom fields here, but I'm not seeing any of that information. So let's go, um, let's delete this. And then let's go back. So now let's, uh, let's try it out. So we come back over here. Okay, great. So we've got my rules. There we go. Looking nice. And then Let's add a task from our task template. There it is. And it's loading up. Great. Any information in here? I can't remember. No, we didn't put anything in. Let's move it to in progress. Now let's see what happens. What did we tell it to do here? Um, what's going on? Oh, there it is. Okay. It's just lagging a little bit. Too. Okay, cool. So as we can see, it assigned it to Chris and it added it to our new ideas project as well. Incredible. And it's added my collaborators because it's now added to that other project. That's just, that's an existing workflow that I had. And then move it to done and it's going to complete it. 
amazing. I love this, so good. Okay, so yeah, what Asana is doing here is they've given you the ability to create project templates, um, project plans way faster, you know, instead of having to go to customize every single time, add a rule, and there they all are right there. Okay, so they've added some more visibility, which is really nice. Before we just had the title, but now we're actually seeing what's happening in the rule. That's awesome. Um, we can see the flow right here. These are all the rules and we can go and edit them, show one more rule. I'm really, really liking this. Very good, Asana. Uh, let's see what else we got. Anything else here? Let's see if there's anything else new in rules. Let's create a custom one, anything? Uh, nope, not there. Anything else new here we don't know about? Let's see. Nope, that's it. Okay, good job, Asana. This looks incredible. So I'm guessing any project you open up, you're gonna have this workflow review. Um, I'm assuming at some point you will have, you'll be able to zoom in and out of this. Um, I'm expecting that like they'll, they'll go ahead and have branches. I think that's what's next, right? If we add a section in between, I'd love to see if this happens, then do this instead of just the linear approach. So what are you seeing? What do you think the possibilities are for this? Love to hear from you. Love to see you know how you're using the new workflow builder to speed up your workflows. Send me an email, drop a comment. If you like this video, subscribe and share it with someone else. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.